Alani and I have some great news. She and I are going to be parents. Meaning you, young man over here, are going to be an uncle. Whoa, are you actually serious? You're pregnant? Mm-hmm. We're not quite sure when our child will be due, but we estimated around late fall to early winter. No, it's all right, Horizon. I figured I should say what's happening. I was out with Silicon and Phoenix. They told me to wait by the river so they could run errands for a little bit. Some time passed, and I heard someone screaming, so I went to investigate by the ravine here. I couldn't find the source of the scream, until I saw someone falling from the top. They didn't survive the fall. I couldn't see them very well in the dark, but after getting a good look, I realized who it was. You are just going to casually bring up genociding an entire species, Shard? He will never be my king! <sighs> That one called for. Uh, hello? Uh, anyone there? Being completely honest, I was falling to my utter doom seconds ago and for sure was about to drown to death. Now I'm here. What's up with that? <laughs> uh, can anyone tell me what's going on? Because I also got chased by a monster who I swear wanted my blood. My blood! I think I almost died. Screw that! I, d I did almost die! And so, obeying orders, the human Alina traveled up to the top of the mountain to search for the original source point of the cascade. With all their might, they pulled and pulled at the branches until the bright blue water was instantly set free, plunging into the deep ethereal pool below. While Augustus was reserved for the rest of us, the lowly and rejected. Unbeknownst to her, however, this true display of raw soul magic would mark the catalyst event for all. Uh, so here are the forest cats. You took your time in getting here. Were you scared? We thought we would give you some time to prepare. I see. Well, there's still a chance for you to turn back. We will only attack if you cross the border. <laughs>